Hey guys, it's me, Vic73, and welcome to a brand new episode of How to Minecraft. It's the sun rises over the third salty lagoon. We are back in blue territory. This is a YouTube exclusive episode when this goes out. I will uh, be out getting some dinner in London. It's actually really cool just to stand up here and just look down and, and witness all the craters of the mobs that, you know, they win the fight outside our walls, but inside our walls, it's nice and orderly, you know, seeing everything built up around here is actually really nice. Vic Tower, I still haven't even put the second floor on. I really did see myself moving into that house, but um, while I still have teammates, it would be selfish to do so. I don't want to be, you know, sectioning stuff away. I want everyone to have access to everything. Um, yeah, I have my own chest there, and that's, you know, enough personal stuff for me. So uh, I've been up here grinding acrobatics, if we do slash acrobatics. As you can see, I'm now level 182, MC top acrobatics. There we go. So we're, we're getting towards the top of that. Another thing I've been doing is I've been boosting up repair. Got that up to 42. I've been repairing up to some of the stuff you see on me. Right here, I'll show you some more of that when we're back at the base. Uh, Matt, I think, is pranking uh, Red Team right now during the night. And also, it was slash salvage. A few days ago, I uh, was looking up. I was like, what's the skill that is a, has, you know, games levels and parent skills? It's uh, salvage with fishing and repair. So as I level up both of those, it is quite good in the hood so uh, yeah all is looking well down below so yesterday i said i was going to maybe hit up some mining today and today i thought i was going to hit up some mining today but then i did slash dungeon and uh, realized that the ice temple and also the uh, wizard dungeon both easy dungeons on our side are up for grabs and i really thought you know i should hit them up let's see if we get a level we should get a level on the way down here i don't think i got one of my last um dip down there we go 183 and look you barely take any damage look at this i can drop quite a long way so that'll actually be useful when mining and perhaps dungeoneering to an extent if I do slash acrobatics. Again, we're just under a yeah, 4.5% dodge chance, which is really nice. So I realized the dungeons were off cooldown. Matt seems to have just returned. Um, and I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm going to hit them both up this episode. So I'm just going to go and solo YOLO those bad boys in probably some iron and diamond. And uh, I'll use a lot of editing. So unless anything, you know, particularly eventful happens there. Um, I'll show you guys kind of the difficulty of them because they've removed, I believe, um, as I said a little while ago. Oh, damn. I forgot to put these back. Uh, I'll put them back soon. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Is those ones that you want to put back. They've uh, removed, like, the punch bow skellies from there and all that jazz. So, that is uh, some good stuff. Now, Brain, what were you, what were you considering here? What were you considering? I also do want to head over to... Um, too red and check out the prank that Matt did. So I may actually do that in that episode. I'm going to use a lot of editing to kind of trim down stuff. So I'll show you what the dungeon's like. Uh, another thing I was testing is I was repairing stuff like this. So these were protection one, I'm breaking one, fiery one. Repair them keeps a custom enchant, so that's good to know. When I get to level 50, I should be able to repair that. Oh, dear. Oh, please tell me it dropped. Oh, dear. Rip, sturdy torch. That was an accident. I should be able to repair the vampirism sword. And uh, make essentially a new, make it into a sharpness, um, sharpness five vampirism sword, which could be huge. Also, one thing I discovered that's quite cheeky. So we have this bad boy right here. I could upgrade that and use that as a sneaky edge. Maybe put a big cash duel on and pray that with vampirism, immortal and that, I can pull off the win. And maybe we'll get something good. Because one thing I was realizing is that I don't have another pair of leaping two boots, which I would also want to take mining. And I don't want to take my only set because that's the only way we can use the grinder. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to get from the easy dungeon. And you, get, you guys will get to see the loot of that very quickly. So, with that said, next on my list is we don't have any wheat, do we? I can't be bothered to breed for speed. I'm about to get a load of levels anyway. So, uh, I've been kind of exchanging up a lot of stuff here. What was I going to do? Oh, yes. Pick gear for today's today's ventures so i made that new chest plate the rest are really actually struggling and it's gonna be like i think it's like 20 it's like 30 levels to combine those which is rough i wonder if there's another diamond set around somewhere i mean actually saying that yeah i i don't know i mean i'll take this just flat p4 unless actually no we don't have any unbreaking helmets so that strikes me as i need to repair those down the line we'll put on this and this and then chest plate wise, I mean, I guess I made that, so I may as well use it. I don't know. I feel like we're missing. A ch oh, yeah, it's because I combined some of the good stuff up. Unfortunately, I combined some of the good stuff up. I don't really want leaping either. Um, interesting. 
I think I'll actually take these through. Unless we just have some other generic iron boots that I want to take. Let's see. Now we really don't. We really don't have them. I mean, they're leaping. Well, I could just actually, you know, I'll wear the ones I've got. I'll take the leaping, you know. It's fine. It's going to be okay. So this is the gear I've got. The other thing I was wanting to do is, uh, I guess I'll... Nothing nothing on me should break in the two dungeons. I'm going to play them pretty safely. I will actually, however, get some milk because we got loads of those from doing the fishing thing on cows. So I will get some milk out. I'm the milkman. Get three buckets of milk because why not? Store away this stuff here. We can take this sword. Get a free acro level. No, not quite. And I can actually fill this up down over this way. Will I need any materials? No, my inventory is kind of randomly filled with repair stuff, but it's fine by me. Another thing we can do is uh, we bred a newer horse. Realistically, he's Dog Junior over here, and we've not tested him out, so we're going to do that and see how he's doing for speed. And actually, now that we have all these horses, we can breed up a lot, but I kind of want to keep it, again, very selective. Very selective stuff. So, uh, this guy's actually tamed. We just want to test him for speed. So, let's get a saddle. Dog Junior, it is time to see, are you faster? Oh my gosh, he seems fast. He seems fast as heck. I think you can actually get horse armor from Easy Dungeons as well, so that would be nice to get. Look at this guy go. He's a stallion. Right, let's get this lined up down the middle and go. Now, you're faster than that. I swear you're faster than that. I don't know, he feels like he almost did slow down. Let's see. Nah, he can't be slower, surely not. He can't be slower than both of his. It's, it's realistically a 12 or an 11. Let me see. See what we get this final time. Realistically, this guy's at 11 speed. Let's see if he can jump. Can't even jump that high. I think, I want to say only three. Not even three. Two and a half, 11. And 14, so we got a bad draw right there. I'm afraid. I was hoping for pretty much a horse that would have the jump of um, the jump of the first horse and the speed of, of dog, but I guess not. We're gonna have to travel there at the speed of dog. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. Now instantly I realize this guy's even faster. Alrighty. So to the easy dungeonero we go, and yeah, I've gone for. Uh, this horse is literally feels like it teleports. Look at him go. Uh, so yeah, uh, brain cell Sorry, I, I don't know why I'm losing my train of thought so much. Usually, this doesn't happen. I don't know, it's 5am. That's no excuse. Okay, I'm gonna hit up the dungeon. I will see you guys when I'm there. Okay, so we are here. We're gonna leave Dog inside. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think I nearly killed him with this sword. Why are there like 17 million- Million zombies here. Please tell me you're all right, dog. Oh, you're, you're okay. Jeez, okay. That was very nearly absolutely terrible. Why on earth are there so many zombies here? I have no idea. And they're knocking down the door for no apparent reason. You know, dog will be fine just there. I'm going to go and... Maybe if there's a load of mobs outside the dungeon, there won't be ones in. Look at this patrol. Mind you, being downhill of these guys is making it very easy. Although you, my friend, you need to... Need to die. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to skip most of the process of this dungeon. Uh, just because my brain is concentrating right now. Because you guys have seen it a lot before, and I'll just be back with the loot yields at the end. Which is honestly, like, if I could, you know, if I could do that myself, I would do that. I would edit past. Let's see what this dungeon's like, though, without the, uh, too many of the custom, customer mobs. Okay, so here's the whole horde. I forgot my flint and steel, actually. Mind you, that spider kind of helped me out. Yeah, I definitely did forget flint and steel. Classic, classic witch right there. Ow, harming potion. Ooh, that's kind of rough, you know. Let's actually, let's take a moment here. Let's jump up this staircase. Ah, the poison would go just then, wouldn't it? You know what? That was a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. What on earth? I just don't understand why there were so many mobs. I'm just going to regen for a bit. That was outrageous. I don't even know. 
I took a lot of damage quite fast then. I didn't, yeah, it's, it was a harming potion. A harming potion on top of a poison potion is going to mess you up. All right, let's put Dog back inside where he can recuperate. I'm glad he's actually got a fair bit of health because that would have been a very terrible accident to have befallen us. That would have been a huge fail. I don't know. All right, you are dying before you can do anything. These guys are still, you know, they're still putting up a fight. But it's all good. All right, from here on out. <gasps> Oi. Yo. Another big, big pickup. Did I get that? I did. That's so rare. So, so rare and so, so awesome. Okay, now can we uh, actually get some progress, please? So, yeah. Um, once I'm actually slowly and calmly working my way through this dungeon, which should be soon... Okay. I could have sworn I heard a potion break then. I don't know who the witch was throwing at. But yeah, it's not too bad actually. I think I took the the major outlying the major outlying force. And I uh, avoided that harming potion there. That I think I honestly want to say Oh my god, another one. No way I have three of those. That would win me any duel, any day. I, I can't believe that. I'm not complaining at all. Is it, like, he was, she was holding it when I killed her, but I, didn't, I wasn't aware you could farm them in that way. But yeah, I will see you guys when the boss is about to drop. Let's go. Right, it took a few minutes. I'd say about 10 in total, but the boss is uh, ready to take on right now. Had actually another um, close call with just a regular skeleton that had punched. The alchemist actually went on me to try and punch me then. Ah, uh, yeah, it was one of these dudes. They're not no fun at all. Uh, let's get rid of him. I think there's still a chance that they randomly spawn in here. And they're just obnoxious, especially if he's hitting me into that dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Things getting a little, a little out of hand here. Damn it, the alchemist got me. Plenty of milk for that sort of thing. I think perhaps he spawns them. I think he may spawn them. Let's get rid of this witch. Are you the one that poisoned me? I hope not. I hope for your sake, yeah, so when they're holding the things, they don't, they don't always. See, this is the thing. What you've got to do is you've got to walk around and lure them to where uh, they, basically, if you've, you're, you're out of sight, they'll walk towards you. If you're not out of sight, they will just keep shooting you from whatever range they're at, and it's not fun. Look at this. See, look at this. I go around to here, where he can't see me. He comes out a bit. But yeah, not fun, guys. Fortunately, hasn't been too many of those. Okay. All right. Filbert, mate. It's just, it's just time to go down. You know, I'm just going to eat that poison. Tastes good, bro. Didn't hit a very good shot. Filbert is no trouble. I'm just worried someone will come up behind me and punch me into him. Dude, I jump away from that poison. Easy three loot chest. Off the bat right here. Ooh, my boots are actually on the way out. Just that durability is not on point. Oh, wait, he got me with a bad poison that last time. Oh, God. Uh-oh. When is this going to stop ticking? Oh, gosh. Okay, we could be in a bit of a situation here. Ooh, luckily. Luckily, I didn't have too many to clear on the way out there. All right, we have left the wizard Dungeonero. All righty, we've got these three bad boys to open up. Yeah, I really did take a peppering by mobs there. Honestly, I might just grab those. I might need those in the next dungeon. Perhaps should have bought just a bow with me. But it's all good. Oh, yeah, they're really, really dying. I got hit with weakness as well. That's weak. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I just take those off before they break. Honestly, I could repair them. It would cost a lot of iron. Jeez, I came up with three of those. That's absurd. Right, let's open all three of these bad boys up. Stack up these. And let's see. Okay. Open up numero uno. What, what was it I was looking for? Horse armor. Hit it. Decent-ish helmet. Actually, some good new iron boots would be real nice because I could wear them straight away. Hit the middle once again. Hit it. 16 glowstones. Pretty big, to be fair. It's quite nice to have. Um, what was I going to say? And, oh, by the way, I'm going to open up five of the loot crates. So I'll open two from another place, and then I'll give another one to Speedy inside so they have one each when Speedy gets, Speedy gets back on Monday. Third and final for the boots or the horse armor. Hit it. Another helmet. Are those very... Are they the same? They're practically the same. Uh, one has uh, infected too. Whatevs, whatevs. Alright, so we hop on Mr. Dog. 
and we run on to the ice dungeon. I will see you guys there. Here we are, ice temple, ready to uh, rock and roll. Hopefully they won't hashtag waste my time this time round. Uh, hopefully they'll actually be um, a boss, because who remembers that? That was not fun at all. Now I'm hoping there aren't many of those evil Skeletors in here, but I actually, oh, why would I, why would I even mention it? Don't even mention it, you know, let's play this guy up the stairs. Let's, before you can even attack too much. Up the stairs you go. Nice. Eliminated. Eliminated. Just getting drive by witch. No two ways about it. If you go in on the offensive on a witch as well, what you can do is you can uh, have them... I don't... I can't believe this. Is this new or ridiculous luck? I think it's just ridiculous luck. What? I can make, like, four... I can make five splash, um, splash healing potions. Maybe it's just the way I'm hitting these guys up today. I don't even know. Because I wasn't aware that they dropped the potion there, uh, wasn't aware that they dropped the potion they're using at the time. Let's watch this corner. Very, very sneakily found a little place. The problem with these speedy guys as well is normal zombies you can literally kite forever. But these guys, you can't. You have, you, yeah, you can't avoid getting hit forever. Maybe I should have brought the knockback sword, honestly. Let's take you out. Work on lowering the cap. Got to remember that I don't even have iron boots right now. Got to remember that. Got to keep that in mind for times like these. But saying that, I just cleared a lot of mob. To be fair, you don't even need knockback some of these times. Got some toughens there. Oi, oi, he's trying to punch me into the squad. Alright, let's finish these guys and we'll be... I was about to say we'll be well on the way, but we're really not. Oh my gosh, I could have sworn those had like full durability. I guess that's just the difference between iron and diamond. This helmet is actually bleeding out as well. You know, I'm going to replace it with one of the infected ones. The low tier infected one. Just because that's worth combining with like an unbreak. If I get a fresh unbreaking three on a diamond, I'd definitely go for it. Just combine up with that helmet. I'm wondering if I can bypass a lot of those mobs in the middle. Oh yeah, I forgot the whole kind of editing thing um, out of the dungeons. But you know, what? I don't know. They're actually, even though it's like it's a very similar concept each time. I think it's still kind of intense. It's just so hard to not take that damage. Let's see if we can kite the main, the mainstream. Oh, no, not two of you. Let's see. Oh, God, that's going to be a bad poison. Actually, this could be very, very bad. We need to run. Milk bucket. Let's run into this corner and just bring this guy around. These witches, I believe, are fighting each other indefinitely. Oh, God, this could be bad. Skelly shoot each other. Look, that skelly's protecting me. Incredibly. In incredible scenes. Oh, but now is he mad at me? I'm actually pretty hurt here. It's the iron helmet and the leather boots. You don't know I'm here. You don't know me like that. Yo, fall back. You don't know me like that. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty intense just doing these dungeons. Got my nice hit chain there. Oh, I was going to use that zombie as my human shield. Look at these guys go. Got to get the parker. Come in close. And sit down. Uh, yeah, this is actually kind of intense. I'm probably going to keep this rolling as is. Of course, more come in. Yeah, we take a lot more damage with this gear in its current condition. Just puts me on the back foot a bit more, which is not fun. Could you not? Alright, give me a break for a sec. We're hurting. We're hurting today. Alright. Oh, this could be bad, actually. Luckily, none of you have extra speed ability. Gaining mad XP as well. So this, this is where it becomes very worth... Wait. Oh, my leather boots actually broke. That would be a part of the problem. Err... <laughs> Okay, not having the most fun right now. 
Damn. That's the boss there. He's the fire boss. I'm starting to question now whether this is advisable behavior. Hmm, should have bought more pairs of boots. Um, one sec, my headset is low on batteries as well. Get ready to plug that back in. Do not want to get killed while I'm plugging in my headset. That would suck. Okay, so you guys join me in a struggle to put my headset in. There we go, we got it. And a bit of a predicament. And my headset just turned off. Thanking you. Good headset. I think we're going to go for it. Okay, was this a mistake? Perhaps it was. So we got the punch dude there. Oh no, two punch guys is, is a dead Vic. Oh, we got three punch guys. Yeah. Yeah, no? How about no? How about no? One or two of you are going to run this way and we're going to have a nice little fight, okay? That's what I have to do. I have to single these guys out. Oh yeah, nice. Nice, fight each other. Make them fight each other. That's the plan. And just kill people like you. I wonder if we can actually dodge their shots. So those guys are just straight fighting each other. Which is good news. Hey, you shoot him too. Oh, but it's not they're not they're not like they're not mad at each other in the right way. <laughs> oh dear, that's quite amusing actually watching them shoot each other. <laughs> Look at these guys go. One's trying to shoot for me, and then I don't even know what those guys are doing. That's pretty hilarious, actually. Be your own biggest enemy. Can you guys kill one of them first? Oh. Why are you still mad at me? This guy's shooting you. Okay, yeah, these guys are plain annoying. Oh, whoa, that witch could be a problem. Alright, uh, you know what? Nah, for a sec, I'm going to have to dip out, unfortunately. Army situation got a bit dire. And so did the health situation. Oh, God. And so did the health situation. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, that was a rough poison. Okay. Hmm. No fun right there. What are we going to do? Yeah, the open layout and just the fact that there are a few more of those evil skelly tours has put me on the back foot here, I'm afraid. Um, I think I'm going to have to leave and return to this one. That is the plan. Yeah, we can do a quick restock and then we'll hit it up. So we are now back at the armory. I am going to stow away this and this. I think I'll just grab this protection three helmet for now. Actually, that would just be a backup to my iron one in case my iron one breaks. And then in addition to that, I'll always also be taking... You know, I'm honestly actually tempted to take some fiery leggings. I know, you get set on fire. It's, it's hard. You know, actually, maybe not. But honestly, I might take... Nah. Tend to take a lion heart. Just play... Nah, the thing is, in iron, you just take so much more damage and we saw that. I think I'll just grab these P4 boots. This should be fine. I've got a helmet replacement if I need it. I'm not going to take any hot pants. It is probably worth taking in something. Oh, that's been spent actually a lot. All right, I think we're all good as we are. And the big thing we didn't have before that was kind of dumb. I'm going to grab a Pal 4 Infinity 1 bow. And that will keep me shooting for days. So I will see you guys back at the ice hall. We'll get this cleaned up. And here we are once again for another attempt to Reno. Oh my, yeah. I mean, that horse honestly makes that so much more doable. I don't think I'd even go to the lengths of doing that had I not got myself a dog. So that's good good stuff. So we got a few skelly turbos. Skelly turbos. You know, if I just keep a few of, like, a few mobs in front of me, the skeletons will practically kill them for me. And we just got this guy clearing. Nice, nice. This is looking good. Okay, so we can fall back a lot more on the infinity bow. Is quite nice as well, because yeah, we had a whole we had a whole little situation which was uh, pretty pretty humorous. 
but not what we were, not what we were looking for before. Oh, look at this. I'm just kiting these mobs so much nicer now as well. Look at that. You're very speedy, but I'm very kitey. Let's put that in my four slot like I usually do. Honestly, it's looking relatively clear to move up to this guy, actually. Let's kill this spider, see what else attacks me. Okay, we've got new waves coming in. Oh, get rid of the witch before the fireman gets in on my case. That creeper definitely would have hurt them. Oh, yeah, these are his minions. They aren't too bad to worry about. Although they do carry them fire sticks. You look at you guys with all your fancy schmancy armor. But you all, you all must die in the end. Ah, damn it, you minion. How long does this last? Really got to avoid letting those guys hit me. I haven't really faced them all too much before. All right, here, here we go. Hello, buddy. Ah, damn the minions. Damn the minions. The red mage is doing his work. He doesn't seem that healthy, though, which is good. Spawn minions now, buddy. What's blowing up? I don't even know. Is that one of his abilities? I have no idea. Okay, now we've got this guy ready to go. Is he summoning explosions? I think he's shooting explosions. Oh, watch it there. Watch it there. We're not going to be getting hit by good old Jeffrey. All right, let's regen up. Yeah, I think he was launching some sort of explosive projectile towards my position. Watch the minions. Ooh, watch them. Watch them. Ooh, watch them. Watch them. He's definitely trying to trying to explode me here. I don't take kindly to. Jeez, I nearly died when I was in here before. And imagine that. 37 levels. All the rip. All right, he's going down now. Easy, easy KO. Okay. Nicely done. Smoothly handled. Out we go. That went too bad in the end. Um, it was just kind of, yeah. I mean, I'd done most of the work on the first time. It was just my gear got very close to dead. And I was like, you know, I'm not fancying this. So we go. We've got two more of these bad boys to open up. So I guess back on the horse armor dream for me. Hit it up 360. It, drop it down. Let's go top right. Haven't done that in a while. Hit it. 32 bottles of enchanting. Not, not disapproved of. We'll take it. One more. Let's go bottom left to mix it up once again. 16 steady torches again. You know, some nice cash gains. 300 apiece, that's 5k. And I'm going to save this one for the speedster and the sidester. So there we go. That is it for this little easy dungeon raid side. We didn't get any of the super rare drops. To be fair, me and Rob got four iron blocks. But apparently that was a super, super rare block uh, drop, which we didn't even realize. Um, that was in the wizard dungeon. But hey -oh, it's all good. Um... You know, the thing is, thing is, you can look at that and say, like, oh my god, the gear got damaged so much. But then you can hop off and see 37 levels. And you're like, you know, what? it ain't too bad. Because I can do three level 30 enchants now off the back of that. So, it's, uh, it's a good way of gaining XP. Because I'm also gaining loops at the same time. And I'd say I gained... I panicked and just jumped off the dog then. I'd say I gained about probably six... Uh, probably seven, eight K. Do you know what we could start doing? If I get my salvage up enough for iron, I could start salvaging this iron armor for decent returns. That could be an idea and a half there. Anyway, I'll catch you guys back at the base where we're going to do one more thing and then end the episode. So, see you in a sec. So, this is the final thing to be done of the episode. I actually got two carrots while in that dungeon, which is perfect, to make some more golden carrots. And as you can see, this is another reason I need to go mining. We're actually fresh out of gold right now, which we could buy very easily with iron gains. But I think we're going to go for... The same breed that we did before. I dropped off the loot chest at Speedy and Sides Casa. And now we are going to swing through here. And I forgot to bring fences actually. But it's going to be you, Mr. Dog. You're going to jump into here. And then we also bring through. Which one was it? It was the... It's the faster of the two, wasn't it? Yeah, we're, we're really going for... We're, yeah, we're, again, we breed for speed. Um, Matt wants me to sleep. I mean, I'll be off soon. I feel like night's about to end anyway. Or is it about to start? I think it's about to start. Anyway, Sally and dog. Go. Is that the right combination? I feel like it isn't. But here, we got the XP. New little horse. Was that the right combination? Yeah, I know. This guy, this guy ended up sucking, didn't he? I don't know. Or did he? 
The things I would like to know if I could know about them. Right, let's check your stats. Yeah, the 14 and the 12. Realistically, probability says you should be a 13. Just, you know, the most likely thing to happen here. But the probability is once again turning out to not be how we want it to be. But that is it for the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all on the next episode. Thanks and goodbye.